Yeah, yeah, it makes sense why they would take something like chlorophyll and maybe, you know, break it down and try to repurpose the nitrogen and keep it in an amino acid form or something like that. I mean, because it's just, it represents such an energy expenditure for the plants, they're not going to toss it out. Potassium on the flip side is something that plants will literally sweat out of their pores. If you've ever walked by your plants and seen like dew forming or, or you know, if, they're, if the VPD is really dialed in on the drier side, the, the plants can kind of sweat water out up through the tips of their leaves. Um, you know, if you suppose hypothetically you collected enough water to actually be able to stick a pH probe or an EC probe inside of this like little glass of plant juice or plant sweat, sweat. You, know, that you would find it does have a composition. There is an EC load and it does have a pH load. A lot of the potassium that you give your plants actually gets sweat out through the transpiration stream. So this is a mechanism by which plants in a native outdoor environment, they can take huge quantities of potassium up from the soil and sweat it out of their pores and keep recycling it in the top 12 to 14 inches of the soil chemistry. Really remarkable and, and unique kind of ways. That's of crazy that plant, the plant per plant perspiration is like that involved. I would have thought it was pretty like close to like zero water. That's pretty, but why would it be, you know, like that's pretty cool.